Now let me show you clever texting, which is the new level of statistical predictive texting. Clever texting has been developed for many languages, Arabic, English, Finnish, French, Hebrew, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swahili. So we'll show you the English product. What happens in clever texting is it makes statistical predictions of what you are going to write and places them into positions most ergonomic to your thumb. So let's and you will have to uh, you type only through single key press typing you don't have to do multi tap. As you see there are some characters which have been predicted on the screen. You, if it was a touch screen phone you could go directly onto the screen and peck on them. Otherwise, this is a 3x4 matrix and your ITUT keypad of the phone is also a 3x4 matrix. So if you want to write what, so you go for key 7 where W is, so press and the phone has made a prediction of which H is on key 1 and then A is on key 5 and 1 is on key T. So that's how you write what happening H A P so and if you press sp space twice it puts a full stop as a convenient and puts the characters on the uppercase now as you see uh, when you hold the phone like this the key one is the easiest for your thumb so we try and make the predictions according to their probabilities in this order from key one towards towards the key hash so let's say we want to write good morning there are only two rules here look for the character on the screen go for the key if you don't find the character on the screen press the next list button which is the middle button it's it throws up the next 11 predictions this is how it works so G is on key hat star now. When I press key, it's made a prediction. O is here. Morning. M is here. M O R. And then N I N G. So that's how you type in clever texting. Let's write a random word like say interesting. So as you see, most of the time you're going on to the same key as the system locks onto what you're trying to write. The interesting thing is that this technology is a dictionary-less technology. It really does not have the word interesting in it, but yet it offers a uh, way to type, which is ergonomic to your thumb, and it's always single key press, and it's, uh, it's dictionary-less, so you do have very little problem writing any dic non-dictionary word. Say you want to write London, so L O N. D O N. You could have also written completely, uh, say you want to write Texas. So these are all statistical predictions. And uh, you could force it to go to uppercase by using the up key. Uh, let's say we want to write Texas again and we put it on uppercase. every character is an uppercase. You want to put a lowercase, you just force it by the lower key and you write. And there are also several different modes. This was the ergonomic mode. There is ergo persistent, legacy color and nearest key. Let's show you leg legacy color. In this, the characters are being predicted onto positions which are which they originally belonged on the keypad so if you are habituated to particular positions you can go for it say you want to write uh, wonderful so the characters would keep coming onto where they belong and if they did not belong if there was a collision then it would be shown with a different color on a some other key and finally you have this mode called nearest key mode which is particularly useful for touchscreen phones because in this mode we keep putting characters closest to where you touched on the screen and uh, either so it would either be able to 
neighboring. So if you write wonderful in this case, W is in key 9, so you would go tap tap like this and then N and then D and R and F U L. That would be a wonderful experience in typing on the keypad uh, on a touchscreen phone.